it's down okay and I, I know that if uh, I have a, uh, the ball has a bigger mass it has a bigger weight okay so that, that there are two ideas here to think about the idea of the mass into the mass and the idea of the weight now mass as we have seen mass is the amount of matter so the amount of stuff things whatever it is inside the ball so the mass um, that's 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 the mass right and weight is the force that pulls it down the force coming from the earth that pulls it down so the mass doesn't change if I bring my uh, ball to the moon but the weight will become a lot lighter if I if I or become zero if I go to outer space so clearly those are two different things and mass is measured in in kilogram um, we also know that mass is measured in kilogram now weight in everyday usage is also measured in kilogram okay now the reason for that is simply because um, the weight, uh, as we as we um, know it on Earth, is is uh, is just um, given in uh, units. Uh, it is just given as the mass. All right, the weight as we use use every day is just uh, given as as the corresponding mass. But in physics. All right, in physics, we think of the weight as an actual force, right? In which case, um, the units it has a different unit, which is Newton. Now, to, to make this quite clear, um, to make the difference quite clear, uh, let's uh, recall what we mean by a force. Okay, a force, a force um, can be defined as by Newton's second law. Is equal to is equal to the rate of change of the momentum. So, um, as an example, it, it can be it can be uh, mass times acceleration. All right. If I have a, if a body and it's it's uh, accelerating under a force, then that force will be equal to the mass times the acceleration. Okay, and we know that weight is a force. Weight is not mass, right? Weight is not about how much stuff you have inside your body, uh, at, at least not directly. Weight is about it, the, the the direct meaning of weight is is the force that the Earth pulls down on 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 us on any object. Okay, so weight has this effect, right? If you if you drop your ball, drop uh, whatever, right? Uh, the, the the thing will fall. The thing will fall and it will accelerate. We all know that when we drop something, it just go faster and faster. Unless you drop a feather uh, and that drops really slowly because of air resistance. Okay, so we, we can be sure that weight is a is a force, right? That can cause things to move very fast. And and weight is definitely not the same as mass. Okay, so therefore uh, it's uh, uh, it's clear that the two ideas are completely different, but we also know that um, if you have a mass, then the Earth will pull on it. If an object has mass, then the Earth will pull down on it because two masses have gravity that attract each other. So, but what what then is the connection between the kilogram and the newton? Okay, right. So let me say, for example, let me, let me give this some numbers. Suppose that my ball uh, has a mass of um, say zero point five kilograms okay suppose that that's my ball then what is the force okay so we say uh, it has units of newtons so what is the weight then in newtons if it's not 0 0.5 kilogram okay that's a good question now um, to find the weight to find the weight we can we can go back to think about this this equation relating the force mass and acceleration so force okay can be related to mass and acceleration and that's one one place to start thinking about it that that is to think about the acceleration due to the gravity suppose i drop the mass if i drop the mass 
Okay, let's not worry about uh, dropping a piece of paper or feather for now. Those are really light and, and they get slowed down by the air resistance. Let's think about dropping, uh, say, uh, a ball or even a stone of 0 0.5 kilogram. So the air resistance is very small compared to uh, the weight of this, this ball. So it will, um, uh, so we can forget about, we can ignore the effect of air resistance for now. And, and then the, 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 the ball will start falling and it will start going faster and faster. Okay, it will accelerate. So what is the acceleration? Acceleration, right. The acceleration is precisely uh, this value. Is nine point eight one meters per second squared. So you'll find that if you drop uh, any uh, at least uh, maybe moderately heavy object uh, that are quite small, when you drop it, it will accelerate at this rate. Where every second, the speed will increase by nine point eight one meters per second. Right, and but that's what what happens if you do it uh, when you're standing on the ground, right? When you're quite near to the surface of the earth, um, and it also varies a bit, right? If you're on a high mountain, it'll be a bit smaller. Um, if you go to the North Pole, it might be a bit bigger because the North Pole is a little bit closer to the center of the earth. And if you go to um, outer space or take an aeroplane, it will also be a bit like, uh, smaller, but the important point at this point to note is that um, let's say I, I just stay at one place, 9.81 is roughly the average value uh, on Earth. So this is the acceleration that we would expect. Now it's usually re represented by G. G stands for, I guess, acceleration due to gravity. Okay, so it would accelerate at, at this rate. Um, and the, the important thing, the important thing here, which um, is very important, okay, is that it will be the same acceleration regardless of the mass. That means that, okay, that means that um, just to make this very, um, very explicit, suppose that I have another, um, another ball, smaller, um, Maybe a different mass. I'll call it say zero point two kilogram. Okay, so different, different from from that mass. If I drop this ball, if I drop this ball, it will fall. Okay, it will fall. And once again, okay, it's quite small. Uh, you can and uh, moderately heavy. So let's say the the air resistance is quite small. We can we can ignore those. We can ignore that. Then it will also drop at the same acceleration, even though it's a lot smaller than than this ball. Okay, so it doesn't mean that the smaller ball will drop more slowly and the bigger draw will, ball will drop more quickly because of the weight. Now this has been famously uh, demonstrated um, by uh, Galileo at the Tower of Pisa, where he dropped a big uh, ball and a small ball. Maybe that's a story. Um, but well, uh, so as as I was saying, whatever the mass, whatever the mass, they will both drop at the same acceleration and hit the ground at the same time, if you like. Now the reason for that, why why uh, the reason why the heavier ball doesn't drop faster? I mean, you would expect that heavier ball means a bigger force pulling it down, therefore it should go faster, right? The reason is quite simple. It boils back down to Newton's second law. It's because because force is, is related to mass times acceleration. So although although when you have a more massive object, you have a bigger weight, all right? Or, although that is true, um, the bigger weight does not cause it to accelerate uh, faster because you also have a bigger mass. Remember, the, one of the effects of mass um, is that it, it resists changes to its motion. It has inertia, and that's what Newton's first law is about. So a bigger mass means that it will move, uh, it will accelerate uh, more slowly under the same force. Okay, so that makes sense, right, from Newton's second law and first law. So a bigger mass means that it's harder to move. So although you have a bigger weight, okay, that pulls harder at it, 
You also have a bigger mass that, uh, and because you have a bigger mass, it will move more slowly. So the two kind of balances out, and in the uh, and it works out that you will have the same um, acceleration. Okay, so that's the simple reason. Okay, the, a bigger mass does not, uh, a bigger weight does not accelerate faster because it also has a bigger mass that slows it down. All right, so they balance out. So. Uh, let me summarize the whole lot by um, uh, writing down an equation. Okay, we need an equation for this. So that equation is just a, a rewrite of Newton's second law. And we are going to think about uh, the force as the weight. Now I'm going to use some symbols here. So let me use W to represent weight. I'll use M to represent the mass. And I already have G for the acceleration. So let's rewrite Newton's second law. Force is W, is the weight, equals to mass is M, times acceleration is G. So this is our weight equation. 